The moment we left the security office in our dust, I finally exhaled a sigh of relief. Thanks, James, I whispered. It's so good to see you. At long last, I wrapped my arms around his neck and hung on tight. He gave my arm a squeeze and kept walking. There'll be time for that later. Right now we have to get out of here. Okay, I nodded. It never felt so good to wade through a crowded, bustling airport without a security team manhandling me. My eyes welled up. Who knew what could have happened if James hadn't shown up? I hesitated back there, and if he hadn't been there, I could have been in a Nexus prison right now, or worse. I couldn't let what happened to Shonda happen to anyone else. Suddenly, I was right back in that dark hole of a Nexus chamber with dozens of black-robed figures all around. Bam! A shot rang out and Shonda crumbled to the floor. Her face contorted as she stared up at me. Lucy! She gurgled, reaching for me. My heart froze in my chest. Blinking at hyperspeed, my mind flashed back to the present. My chest tightened at the memory of my fallen friend. Pressure built in my forehead and the corners of my eyes burned. It was all I could do to stop the tears from falling. My brother's touch, his words, brought me back to reality. A dingy airport hallway in Vienna. You okay, Lucy? James softened his gaze and pulled me into a hug. I'm sorry, sis. Tears threatened to overflow again, and my heart lurched. If Rosalind hadn't shot my best friend for trying to help me... Shonda would be right here with me. She would have been a full-fledged guardian. James took both of my hands. I didn't mean to go all big bro on you. I know you've been through hell. I hoped you'd never have to go through something like that. I gulped, but it was no use. The tears spilled over now, trailing down my cheek. I just miss her. I know. I've been there, too. His face clouded over as he squeezed my hands. Don't worry, sis. I got your back. But right now, we've got to get out of here, okay? Agreed. I attempted a shaky smile at him. He gave me a curt nod and led me down the escalators to the baggage claim area. At long last, we were finally about to leave the airport. I had no idea how long I'd been in that interrogation room, but it felt like hours, and I knew it wasn't over yet. We still had to sneak out of this airport without Nexus following us. Now that they knew we were here, that'd probably be easier said than done.